Hi guys and welcome for the first video of the day, a new ROM test. Um, so today uh, it's the first part, so uh, first boot up of Maddie's ROM 2.7. Uh, so it's the fifth uh, test I'm doing after Cyanogen Mod 11S, uh, Android Stock 4.4.4, Cyanogen Mod 11M8, and Paranoid Android 4.44. So now it's a brand new ROM. I never, uh, it's the first boot up. Uh, so I just flashed it with the G apps. So let's boot it up and see how it goes. In the second part of the video, you will have um, the full review, how I film it, uh, what about the Antitude score, um, how it is. Here it's just the boot, so new... Uh, oh, okay, so I need my pin code. Okay, welcome to Maddie's Boom. So, here it's... French, yeah, sorry, I'm French, so I will choose French. Um, yes, uh, no, not first, uh, not now. Uh, use my location, no. Uh, not right now. Uh, time settings, I will choose Brussels, current day, current time. Clavier AUSP, input setting, load generation, no, finish. And huh, Tre yeah. So we can choose between Google Now or Trebuchet, which is the stock one. So one time, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm in the Madrid room. I hope so. So parameters, we will see that. And so one and Android KitKat 4.4.4. Yes, here we are. So uh, beacon. I don't know if uh, there is a kind of uh, update checks to update or to you soon. Uh, yeah. information I, I'm, I'm uh, okay uh, automatic okay uh, so it was the first boot up and now see you soon for the full review Hey guys, second part of the video. Uh, so after a couple of of, uh, of minutes, I've been using and uh, watching uh, our this uh, Madi Rom Madi Rom 2.7 uh, is working. Uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed by this Rom. Uh, there is a lot of cool features on it. The first one, so you still have double tap to wake up. Uh, yeah, and you have a notification that is. Uh, Floating uh, above the lock screen like that, and I think I found it really cool. So I have not a lot of notification on my uh, lock screen, sorry, but it's pretty cool. So here uh, it's the main page, I have to say. Not, I think it's pretty much standard for uh, Android. Uh, first of all, uh, you have we going to see the uh, I think I've done that the the version we have done that. So uh, first down to two. Uh, yes, a lot of disappointment about this score. Uh, as I always said, uh, for me it always shows uh, the um, the optimization of the ROM with the phone. So maybe Maddie is not as optimized as, as we can for. So it's just behind all the form we talked about. It's the the lowest score uh, I have ever t on of ROM that I've ever tested. And also, um, but I have to say for me it's a huge surprise. Uh, so we are under 4.4.4, so it's quite good. Uh, but now the cool features. There is a lot of things that are really really cool. First of all. Um, 
I didn't have to uh, p uh, to set the uh, the APN, so uh, access uh, point name. Okay, so it's for me it's really cool. Um, uh, now about cool features, there is a lot of cool features. So I'm sorry, it's in French. Okay, so you can choose between Trebuchet, which is the Cyan Genmo launcher, and uh, and uh, the Google Now launcher. So it's cool. First, um, you have musical effect, quiet hours. Uh, you have a lot of volume steps, uh, timeout. Notification sounds, uh, add the plug option, power option, power option, option enable. Uh, you, you have a lot of features about sound. So now screen, you can cast the screen. You can record the screen. Uh, you have uh, some uh, screen off. So screen off it means that you can choose the you can choose a lot of things. Uh, advanced toast, right? Uh, you you. On app activity animation, you, you can shoot so much thing on it. Notification like um, battery, battery light, wake up on charge, double tap to wake, adapt active black light, black light, screen color. You can pretty much choose everything on it. Uh, buttons. You have PI navigation. I, you have navigation bar. So you can uh, enable uh, the navigation bar. Uh, but I've seen that you still have the backlight for um, the hardware button. So I don't know why, uh, but it's quite good to have that uh, hardware button. You can disable. Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, so yes, if you in, you have to disable on-screen but of uh, hardware button to have a navigation bar. Okay. Uh, battery life seems. Cool. Maybe not as cool as can be. You have a battery battery saver option mod. Uh, choose power saving mod for mobile data. Oh, cool! This will automatically manage your device battery usage and switch your network to use a defined power saving mod of normal board. So if you open that, you can choose between several option to when look. Activate power saving mode when battery low. Activate power saving mode of charge. You can choose the, the way, you can choose the percentage of battery leverage when. Uh, well, sorry, you can choose the percentage of battery level. Uh, you when the battery is low, you can choose when the 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 phone will enter in, in battery saving mode. The percentage. Uh, I, I think I'm not really clear. Uh, well. Great, lot, lot of cool features uh, with this app. You can have pop up, um, cool. Uh, profile, look, notification, yeah, adds up notification and lock screen notification. Show latest of a picking option device, enable notification reminder. Love, lot of things, lot of great features. I have to say, I'm pretty surprised how just passionate people, uh, amateur guys, are doing this. Uh, you, it's crazy, it's crazy, man. Uh, so yeah, theme, UI settings, gesture, gesture. You just only have uh, camera and music. You don't have the flash LED. Uh, UI settings, parameter, notification, background style, uh, enable custom color background. You can pretty, you can change color everything. Uh, immersive mode. With that, with our disabling the screen, you have pretty much everything that is possible. Really, a huge, huge surprise. Yes, uh, I'm really impressed uh, by this. Uh, this Maddie's room is quite crazy, uh, but um, as I said, maybe it's not about the battery and everything. Maybe it's not as as optimized as we can find. About the camera, so uh, picture goes. Uh, it's everything okay for picture, but for uh, video recording, you don't have the 4K. You have only the HD 1080p. As I said, for me, it's not bad, but it's a shame to yes. Oh, unbelievable! You can have some sort of option that's called 
yeah, I don't know what it is, but it seems cool. Uh, other option, uh, yeah, you can have slow motion, mesh stabilization. Yeah, the, this camera seems cool and everything seems working properly. Um, yeah, it's a cool ROM. Uh, I think updates are coming quick, so maybe some optimization can be done. Uh, I'm surprised. Yeah, the, it's uh, compared to the other ROM, it's really the most. Uh, if you want to completely personalize uh, your phone and your ROM, maybe it's the ROM that you must uh, go for. Also, the battery life seems great. As for um, as for uh, oh, I, I, uh, AOSP or Paranoid, really more than uh, CM11M8, but less than CM11S. Uh, I think Maddie's ROM seems good. Cool. So next video will be about Pac-Man ROM. Sorry for the noise behind me, behind me. It's my dog that is going nuts. See you soon, guys.